Hello, people of God. Welcome to Open Levels Daily Devotional Review. Today, the 3rd of October, a wonderful day, the day of the Lord, Sunday. And I hope that the Lord will bless you tremendously in the name of Jesus. Today, we are looking at a very interesting topic that says Christian courtship. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for all our youth. Thank you for all single people. Thank you for um, helping them even in this journey in search of a life partner. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your wisdom. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for putting in the words to help us, to guide us into what we are supposed to do. We pray, oh God, as we go into this word, we'll not just be hearers, but you help us to become doers of your word in the name of Jesus. Thank you, precious Father. For in Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Amen. Again, I want to welcome you. I'm going to read us today is from the book of Hebrews chapter 13, verse 4. Hebrews 13, verse 4. And the Bible says, Marriage is honorable in all, and the bell undefiled. But warmongers and adulterers, God will judge. Clearly, the same. God does not uh, like the bed defiled before marriage. It means that sex outside marriage it's is it, it's dishonorable to God. It's not part of God's agenda. Some people think that after asking that sister out or you know saying yes to that brother gives you the liberty to go ahead and sleep with each other. It is wrong. It's not part of God's agenda. We need to be clear. People don't want to say the truth again. They say oh, because we are after all we are going to get married. So we can go ahead and it is a lie. You are cheating. You are cheating God. You are teaching your partner by defiling the bed and he says uh, some people say oh i just want to make sure he doesn't go outside he doesn't go and meet other people and that's why i had to succumb to this i had to do this hey 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 listen to me i've been married if you are cheating if you are not yet married they will cheat in marriage there will be time you will travel there will be time you will not be available for them they will go outside and do it you must be disciplined to do that with your god so what is a christian culture what do we do doing Christian courtship, what are the things that we are supposed to be doing? First, you must know that it is a period to know each other. When I say know each other, it's not like sleeping with each other. It's finding out about your values, finding about your aspirations in life, you know, coming together. The Bible says two shall become one. The process of becoming one, understanding the things you want to do, praying together, studying the word of God together, doing things together in fellowship, knowing the the family of the people you are getting married to. Some people's problem in their marriage today is the inability to know those who are important in other uh, in laws home and how to submit to them or be able to you know respect people there and being part of that family. You know, having understanding of the differences that happens to both of you before coming together. You know, it's a period to really visit them, have to have a connection, have a touchdown with them. Sometimes the family is strong rooted that they are controlling the or your partner and you need to quickly find out about that and see ways you people can agree on approach you know in leaving your family where to live you need to find out doing courtship you need to find out where to live who is quitting is each other's job that needs to sacrifice who is going to take up an additional job these are period to find out it's not a time to go and watch movies alone or sit at the at the at the lounge or restaurant eating alone or sleeping together or coming over to sleep over or cooking to come and sleep over over the weekend that's not the period of courtship it's much deeper than that it's much deeper than that daddy said it is one thing to choose the right partner in marriage it's another to choose the right approach to courtship a wrong approach to courtship can lead to problems or failure even when the right choice has been made remember that therefore believers in courtship must be only through and through if they would eat the good fruit of their marriage according to isaiah chapter 1 verse 19 sister you must know that a man will typically be at his best during courtship in fact it's a period where you have a lot of pet names i hope when you get into marriage they still remember to give you that pet name so people used to write poem to their wife a uh, wife to be at courtship and when they get into marriage they stop doing it if you see any sign of violence or anything like that that you are not you must address it in courtship before you go ahead to marry if you are not yet confident about it don't go ahead with that marriage he would call you by different pet names that is saying it already please 
please you and make you feel secure. However, once the wedding ceremony is over, you begin to see lie to live together, the shortcomings will be more exposed to you. The saying that love is blind may appear true, but the one that that also says that marriage is an eye opener has equally been proven to be true now and again. Men are, however, not only was guilty of this. Brother, you will also discover a lot more about the personality of your wife after the wedding ceremony. This is why the word recommends that couples should cohabit during courtship, but should, but should this be found among the children of God? The answer is no. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 14 is clearly told us, Ephesians chapter 4 verse 14, that we ask for be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the seat of men and calling craftiness whereby they lie in wait to deceive. You must not be tossed and then you, know, then you must sleep with her. You need to know maybe she can get pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> what if she carry the pregnancy before you get married and then you go ahead to marry and then the pregnancy come down or even maybe have the baby and then get into the marriage the boy God takes the boy and then she can't put to bed again don't let people lie to you when you are going into courtship it's not a period to test anything you test anything in terms of sexuality it is a time to do other things. Go together, study together, fellowship together. Find out things that are very important to both of you. Value system, building up your homes. You know, it has a period. The fact that you are in courtship does not give you the license to begin to cohabit. Child marriage has no place in Christianity. It is wordom. So-called sisters also try to see these naive brothers to get them pregnant. And the result is what the, <laughs> the world calls a shotgun marriage. <laughs> One not properly prepared for. God abhors this seriously. Ephesians, uh, Hebrews chapter 13 verse 4. Christian courtship must be characterized with sincerity. You must be able to share your past and your present experiences with your would-be spouse. You both should... Uh, also lay your future bear in the hands of Jesus Christ. While there may be sincere disagreement during the courtship, you would have to prayerfully reevaluate it if the relationship is reef with trouble from the sinful demands of your partner. A broken courtship is better than a broken marriage. Be warned. Clearly, and our Bible you wrote here today says, is in is in uh second Samuel chapter five all the way to chapter nine and the him says I need thee every hour ask the almighty God to guide our youth so that Christian courtship we culminate in in only wedlock and glorious marriages don't focus so much about the vibes that happens about the vibes of the things you like about the woman or the man Focus on the character of the person you are ending your life. Ask yourself, can I submit to this person? Ask yourself, can I hand over my life and my whatever to this person? Can this person take care of my children? They are more, more intriguing, very, you know, deep questions you can ask your partner during courtship to find out who they are and pray together and asking the Lord to lead you in the journey ahead. It's an institution that is going to be forever. So make sure you do all that is required and let it count. And I see God helping you in the name of Jesus. Till I come your way again, make sure you stay in the atmosphere of God. God bless you.